All right, long time no see. My name is Archeris. Most people call me Ark these days. I'm going to play just a little bit of Slime Rancher just to show off some of the late game progression loops because the game advances quite a bit as you get deeper and deeper into it. Um, this is going to have heavy spoilers for all the late game slimes and the things you can create and such. So if you want to keep those to yourself and not be spoiled, then by all means do not watch this. It's perfectly fine. This is just... I've been talking so much about how much I enjoy the loops of this game that I want to show off what I mean. That just how much it makes you juggle and how much it keeps you busy. So let's get started. This might be very low commentary, but we'll see. I'm to the point where I should probably restructure my ranch again, but I just did that like a couple days ago, so I don't quite want to. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, what was I doing last night? Um, check the board first of all things. Some prices are up, but not really enough for me to go and sell stuff. So let's just check on all the slimes, or at least the ones who matter. Some of them have are um, time sensitive. Some slimes you have to check on or they will escape or cause damage or just become a pain in the ass that you have to then spend a longer time uh, fixing. Alright, I'm at 50 for that, that's fine. Trying to build up stockpiles of every type of food for these guys. Uh, when I was creating my new version of the ranch, I did a bunch of hybrids. Um, I hybrided the tabbies and the phosphos. I hybrided the hunters and the honeys. So I was trying to make everyone as manageable as possible. And sadly, that left over the um, <laughs> the rats and the booms. They're very loud babies, but, but I love them. They're very loud, very dangerous babies. So they have an auto feeder, so I never have to go in, and a plort collector, so I don't have to get too close to get the stuff from them. Uh, this is my new incinerator setup, just to keep the uh, fire, uh, fire slimes quite happy. I'll probably collect those later. I do need to just... Make sure they are okay still. I think they're still at max level. Yeah, they're fine. Okay. From here, I, I, they have plenty of food and they're doing well. I'm gonna have to clean out their cage soon because this is... God, they are so prolific, these babies. They they create so many plorts. Uh, to the point where I have silos full of their plorts. I might as well just drain out what I can at the moment and fill up the silos. It's a constant mess to keep up with them. I might actually reduce the amount that I have, because at this point it's I'm, I'm not hurting for rad or boo. Oh, honeys. Oh, they explode when they're happy, they explode when they're sad. Okay, let's check on. In here I believe I have stuff growing that I need to attend to. Hello, babies! Oh, I might have missed the harvest on something. Or I might have already picked it last night. I should stop gaming at 1 in the morning. It doesn't work. Right, I was gro growing cuberries. Hello, friend. Um, I don't think I need the cuberries anymore. I do think I want to double down on mint mango, because that is the honey slime's favorite. So I'm going to have to, every time I run past here, I'm going to have to check on this and make sure I'm picking up everything. Oh, you're a sad one. Let's see if I can. There you go. Everyone's happy. They don't stay happy. My god, don't ever, ever, ever make a combination off of the hunters because they're a pain in the ass and they constantly go feral. But if you do it, make sure it's with something that's easy to feed because they will continuously go feral over and over. Uh, I just fed you guys, and oh my god, you have a lot of rock port for me. Oh dear. I don't want to spend too much time doing this. I have to go check on my other guys who are a little more time-sensitive. But while I'm here, I might as well. 
You can never just take 48, you have to take the full amount. Um, see, I have silos full of the rad and the boo. I'm just waiting for, like, a massive price spike to get rid of it. Uh, prickly pears, and yeah, the rest is gonna have to be sold. Because I already have plenty in the machine. How are you guys doing? No ports today, huh? My happy babies. I think your water level is fine, but just in case. Nothing would make me sadder than coming back to them not being happy. They are my precious angels. Uh, rock is up, so that's at least worth selling. And boom, is already down, but I literally I don't have any more room for it, so I have to get rid of it. Uh, here's my pen. It's very full. Pretty much any time I find a cool chicken, I just throw it in there, and that is where they live. I used to have a silo full of just hen hens, because they're good to have around for anything. Alright, let's go and check. Ugh, the problem children. Okay. I got the overgrowth update, and wow, everything is beautiful here. Are you guys still happy? Oh my god. Okay, so I have an auto feeder on them so they can have their silver parsnips and be super happy. But, like, the thing that keeps feeding them. Oh my god, how many? Okay, well, I'll we'll handle that in a moment. You guys are still very good. Let's just throw this back in. It is on the lowest setting, and yet it still does this. Uh, do I still have? Yes, I do. Okay. This is another thing I want to get a stockpile of. The silver parsnips. Uh, okay, we're good. Snips. As soon as I get this full, I will start filling an actual silo and have backup. Ugh. Darlings, you're so pretty. Uh, these are the Tangle Mosaics, which, they're two of the most dangerous of the game that you can get, so I just decided to combine them so I could just keep an eye on them both in one place, because the idea of spreading them out uh, terrified me. Because it gave me just another pit stop that I have to make. Because now I have to go down here and check on pogo fruit and my pink quantums. Let's see. Okay. Pink quant. Oh god. So luckily, because they're pink, they will eat anything, which is good. I am not hurting for the quantum plorts, which makes it easy for me to just feed them anything. But also, I'm just as many as they are, it's it's just hard to keep up the numbers that I need for their food. I've sometimes just gone to carrots, because as anyone who plays this game for more than five minutes knows, carrots are just very simple to get a hold of. Oh god, let's drain this down. Because pink plort, if you haven't reached the mid to end game yet, you're gonna need a lot of pink plort, guys. You're going to need it almost all of the time, unfortunately. Uh, took one too many. Oh, that was not the one I wanted to shoot. There we go. Okay. So, they're very happy. They freak me out because even when they're happy, they do this. And if you haven't met the quantums yet, they, if they're unhappy, they will just transmute out of their pen. But they also just do it when they're happy because that's what they do. They're very stressful little babies. So, I worry about them and check on them. I have yet to actually have a breakout, so I think I'm doing pretty good, because I've had them for quite a few hours now. Probably about 12 hours in game. How long have I been playing this damn thing? Oh, I love the new overgrowth. Guys! Children! Oh, boy. Oh. Can't do much about that. That's how they're gonna do. I was thinking about letting them free roam, but every time I've let something free roam, it's turned into a disaster. Um, I have a lot of things for the machine, but I don't like always going to the lab to drop it off, so I have one of these. And I'm going to drop off Quantum Force because I haven't done it in a while. Usually I just sell it. Yeah, and Mosaic is still depreciated. I'm going to depreciate the shit out of Rad, that is for sure, and take Boom down further. Okay, alright, I've checked on food. Everyone is fairly, god damn it, fairly okay at the moment. I could probably do a round of running around and feeding everyone, but I just did that yesterday, so everyone should be fine. 
So at this point, I need to jump into doing science instead. Are you guys still all right? Could you use like one more? Yeah, just one more. I will pick up your ports later. It's fine. Uh, shoot all these in here. Yesterday, I checked on all my machines and almost every single one of them bro broke. Uh, the thing about having boom slimes is that they sometimes explode and send their ports just scattering around, which makes them very dangerous to put next to anyone because you're going to get tars. So the only ones who chill around the booms are the flame slimes who do not care about anything and the pinks over in the corner, who I don't actually use and I should get rid of, but that's fine. I need drills. Uh, one, two, three. I need pumps. One, two, three. Oh, shit. Tabbies. Tabbies? Really? How about apiaries? One, two, three. Uh, that's gonna really bother me, so I'm gonna go and grab some tabby port, because I should have plenty. I just fed them. They should be quite happy. Oh, the entire game is just running around and keeping various big, lovely, fat children happy. Oh, god. Yes, I have plenty. Oh, my god. Hello, darlings. You're so cute. I wish this game, I mean, I desperately, desperately wish this game would let me just fill multiple slots with one type of port. Because that, that would be stellar, but it doesn't. Oh, let me check something real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I am still recording nicely, it looks like. Hello, darlings. This is a fun trick. Whee! Only 20 this time, huh? Usually I can get up to like 40. I don't actually know what happens if you max out on radiation. I have yet to do it. Okay. Now can I please have another goddamn pump? Thank you. I don't actually think I need the pumps, but... I want to get three of everything just in case. I could... Do I have strange diamonds? The hardest fucking thing to get in this game. I do have a strange diamond. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use it. I got plenty of teleports. Okay. So, now we're going to hop into another loop, and we're going to check on all of the machines. Make sure I have this bound correctly. Yes, I do. Good. Ah, there's more potatoes, but that's fine. Hello, babies. Oh, what do you... Uh, that's fairly pricey. What do you... No. What the fuck is this? This is terrible. Do you know how hard it is to get phase lemons? They are the hardest thing in the game. Fuck you. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> some, of the, some of the offers are just... Ab I, I imagine they have to be randomly generated because some of them are terrible. Hello, darlings. Oh, yay, my happy dancing machines. Okay. What do you got? Uh, can, can you not? I'm hoping for fire dust. Okay, you're still going. Thank you, happy dancing machine. No lava dust. Plenty of spiral stream, but no lava dust today. I'm actually doing this whole game with the steam controller, which is amazing. So I have my jump bound to one of the grips and my use button bound to the other. It's very, very swish. Now usually after I would check on one of the fucking machines, I would have to run all the way back to the lab and throw everything in. Oh god, that's so creepy. I hate it. <laughs> god. Can't I just opt out of some of the goddamn upgrades? Ah, but now I can do that and I can move on. Um, next, this way. This one I have to set up all of them again, I believe. Oopsie, let's just hop through here. Hello, darling. Nothing is. Okay, by the time I get back, those should drop. Because if you ever see your fruit hanging in the tree, you should leave the hell alone just wait for it to actually naturally drop. It's much, much easier. Okay. Uh, let's get some stuff put down. Because I'm not getting anything from here. Drill is best for this area. So I'm going to put down three drills. I should have brought more. But I wasn't sure I would have enough and I didn't want to farm for the pinks. Okay. You three, do your job. I'll be back. In not 20 minutes because I've never actually done a loop that quickly. Hmm, you've not dropped yet. That's vexing. What about you? Hmm, 
Okay, I'll check you after the next loop, hopefully, if I don't forget, which I might. Uh, next area is... Oh, God, which one? This one, Moss Blanket. Okay. I don't have them set up over here. I have them set up elsewhere. And I kind of just say, Moss Blanket is maybe my favorite area in the game. It's so peaceful and lovely. It's very, very pretty. I'm a huge fan of it. Hello, darling. Okay. I don't know why I don't just sprint everywhere. I have, like, I think I have the maxed out uh, energy meter. Okay. Do I still have... I do not still have a buddy here, so... That was... Alright. This is, like, tar central. There are always going to be tars, because... All the slimes here are idiots, and they will just eat anything. Oh, that was a hunter. I used to have to really, really, really look for those. They are a pain in the ass. Hunt if there's anyone that... If there's any slime that I actually consider, like, more trouble than they're worth, it is absolutely the hunter slimes. You get them, you immediately combine them with something that's a little bit more manageable, because they're just a pain in the ass. Hello, friend. Hello, dancing friend. Hexacombs, and a lot of buzzwax. Oh, and you're dead. Okay. That's fine. That is why I brought extras. Let's put you there. Ugh, please stop. Booms freak me out. I know they're mostly gentle, but I still worry. Oh, you're adorable hopping around. Please don't hop off the edge of the cliff. Though you probably will. Okay, I have stuff to return. I always put my um, extractors there because it's a quick teleport back. I always try to build everything to be kind of logical. It's like if I want to have a path to walk every time. Okay. Um, I'm going to go right back to where I was. Wait, should I bring... Should I bring... No, I should be fine. Um, I don't want to take that path yet. Or do I? Yes, I do. I'm out of my mind. Ignore me. I want to take this one. Okay. All right. I have a couple of things in the glass desert. I should have checked on the thing. Oh god. Everything's on fire here, so I'm actually going to go back and check on the mangoes anyway. Yeah. God damn the fucking glass desert. I wonder if those firestorms happen on a schedule, or if it's just... They've caught me at some very, very bad times when I did not have any place to hide. Okay, much better. I'm not going to waste my time getting those down manually because that is silly. Okay, I'm going to build a stockpile of these because honey slimes are the easiest thing to combine with anything else. Makes them very docile and I find the mint mangoes are very easy to grow. Ugh. I have all my mint mangoes. I know I had a stockpile before. I probably needed money and just shoved it into a bunch of slimes mouths. Anyway... Let's check on that storm again, or it's actually the glass desert is prettier during the daytime. <coughs> oh my god, really? Jesus. That is way too much money. Also, I took a sip of water and it went immediately down the wrong tube. Alright. Glass fucking desert. I haven't made a lot of- Oh, for fuck's sake, really?! I haven't made a lot of progress here. Mostly because of this shit. So. This is the next couple of minutes of my life. Can we? Please. Yep. 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 It's like it knew I ducked out before, and now it's angry with me. Oh my god. Oh 
there's not even anything by me, but I know the moment I step forward, I'm going to be obliterated. Oh, so, if you haven't been to the Glass Desert, anytime the screen goes red, you need to be undercover. Because there's a lot of firestorms, and they are very dangerous, but they are also where you get the fire slimes. So, if you're able to have a hidey hole to peek out of, you can try to grab a couple of them. They have to live in the incinerator, they have to live in the ash trough. Before I got one, I did not even have an incinerator because that's what the ocean is for. I don't know why I wouldn't throw everything into the slime sea. Mm. <sighs> I mean, there's no fire near me. I have nothing on me. Can I just very dumb. Please don't do this in your own game. I'm just... I don't see any bad things. Ah! Alright, we're fine anyway. Cool! Silky sand. Interesting. That for, that's from a pump? Okay. What about you? Silky sand as well. Hmm. I put down, of all things, a fucking apiary here. I want to see what it gives me. What is that? Pepper jam. Holy shit. Wait, did I drop? Oh, I can't carry those. That's fine. I have plenty of those. Um, what, what, what about a proper drill? Oh, limit reached. Pump install limit reached. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't know that was a thing. All right, well, shit. But hey, I have pepper jam. I've never heard of that. What the hell is that? Da, 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 da. Um, slime science material. Glass desert obtained with the apiary. It's a strange substance found only in the beehives of the glass desert. It's believed to be a product of desert bees obtaining pollen from the flowers of a spicy pepper plant found somewhere in the desert. Regardless of its origin, pepper jam gives an otherwise boring old toast experience a real kick. Okay, and it's gonna be used for some something. I think I'm only like midway through the science tiers. I haven't even unlocked the um, the purple um, treasure pod opener. So, okay, let's get out of here. How, can I place them here? Is that allowed? Because I don't know if the ancient no ancient area does not let you do anything. All right, that's fine. Let's go home. I will tackle the glass desert another fucking day, because it's my god, it's harrowing. I do like the glass desert a lot because it feels like an endgame area. It's like this it actually is quite difficult, and you have to be on your toes. And it's very, very labyrinthian. Uh, okay, now I'm back to the beginning of my loop where I have to get all of my potatoes and check on all my babies. But this is what the game feels like to me. The only times I get to actually leave the ranch and go on adventures is after I have taken care of all the chores first. And I'm actually getting slightly twitchy not going and doing the chores. I need to check on the pogo fruit because by now it should be growing. Uh, so yes, this will be the end of this quick experience. This is what <laughs> the mid to late game looks like, guys. It's, it's a lot of chores. It's a lot of loops. It's very relaxing. I quite enjoy it. But now I have to go and take care of the Oka Oka and check on everyone again in another cycle. So that's all. Hopefully this has been somewhat informative for what to look forward to.